Hi students. In this lecture, I am going to discuss problems based on plane mirrors. Let us see first one. See the question. A boy of height 1.6 meter with his eye level at 1.4 meter stands before a plane mirror of length 0 0.8 meter fixed on the wall. The height of the lower edge of the mirror above the floor is 0 0.8 meter then. So in the last class we have discussed that minimum length of the mirror should be half of the height of the person. We can see personal height is 1.6 meter and length of mirror is 0 0.8 meter. Okay. But now it is placed at a height above the floor. It is 0 0.8 meter. Now options are boy cannot see his feet. is a full image. Cannot see neither. Cannot see either his hair or his feet, okay? The boy cannot see his hair. Let us see how to decide these options. <clears throat> so given that person's height is, <clears throat> take it as capillage, that is, 160 centimeter length of the mirror given 80 centimeter and this is a place <clears throat> suppose so he is a person <clears throat> and we are placing a mirror at a height and you can see here at a height of at a height of given 160 this is 80 <clears throat> height is now 80 from ground that means mirror will be like this. This is now mirror. It's a height equal to it's a height equal to 80 centimeter from ground. Okay. This is now mirror. Now see what happens and given level level of the height of the eyes eyes height from ground it is given 140 centimeter now we can see eyes eyes are at a height 140 that means from top of the head to eyes <clears throat> separation equal 20 okay these are eyes height is given as 140 140 centimeter. Now we can see light rays coming from his feet reaching this lower edge of the mirror. Light rays coming from his feet falling on the lower edge of the mirror. <clears throat> If you see here, this height is given 80. This height is given 80. This is 80, right? This is 80 means light rays will reach now above this level 80. Because angle of instance equal to angle of reflection. 80 <clears throat> plus 80, 160. Light rays will reach after reflection top of his head. See carefully. While you are making the diagram, we should see that angle of incidence, 
This is now reflected, right? It is like this. <clears throat> this is now angle of reflection and this is angle of incidence. Both are equal. Therefore, suppose this is A, this is B, and this is taken as C. AB is equal to BC. See carefully. <clears throat> ABC. Take this as D. Triangle ABD. Triangle BCD. They are now similar. Alter triangles. Since angles are same, AB must be equal to BC. It is given that AB equal to 8. And from diagram, AB equal to BC. That means... <clears throat> Height of C, it is equal to 160. That means light rays coming from his feet after reflection <clears throat> are not reaching his eyes. Not reaching his eyes. That means he cannot see his feet. Okay. <clears throat> Next. Coming to his top of his head. This gap is now total value 20, right? You can see the separation EC. <clears throat> EC equal 20. Now, if you make a diagram, let us draw a midpoint. I am taking the midpoint of EC. You can see light rays coming from top of his head. Otherwise, I will make diagram separately. This is a C and I saw here. I am taking a midpoint of EC and draw a line normal to the mirror. So light rays coming from top of his head falling on mirror and will reach his eyes. Okay. Angle of instance, angle of reflection. <clears throat> That means he can see top of his head, but he cannot see his feet because these rays are not reaching his eyes after reflection. Okay. That means even though length of mirror is half of his height, since it is not placed at a proper height, okay, he cannot see his feet. See in this, if he wants to see his full image, at what height he has to place. Okay. See carefully. His eyes are at a height 140, right? 140. If we are placing this mirror at a height of 75, if mirror is placed at a height of 75, if this is 75, then light rays coming from his feet after reflection will reach his eyes. Okay. Then this is 75. Wait, wait, not 75. It should be 70. It should be 70. If it is 70, then if it is at a height of 70, then this is 70 and this is also 70. Then light rays coming from his feet, falling on mirror, after reflection will reach his eyes. Okay. So since height of eyes is 140, height of the mirror from the ground should be 70. Then he can see his full image. But it is given 80. That's why he cannot see his full image. Okay. <clears throat> So, options are the boy cannot see his feet. Okay. That is the correct option. Let us see next one. Same kind of question. A person of height 180 wants to see his complete image in a plain mirror while standing. <clears throat> his eyes are at a height of 170 from ground. Just now we have discussed that. Right? Just the only change is values. Since a height of eyes 170, the lower edge of the mirror must be at a height of 
half of this. That means 85, right? So bottom of mirror should be at a height of 85. Okay, option C is correct. And coming to minimum length of mirror, it should be half of his height. That is 90. So directly we can see. Means the previous question and this question almost the same. Just values are different. Okay. Let us see next problem. The angle between two plane mirrors <clears throat> is a 60. An object is placed on the angular bisector. Find the number of images formed. Again, same question, but angle is now 120. This is 60. This is 120. Let us see how to find number of images. So when you want to find number of images, the question is like, there are two mirrors, two mirrors. Between those two angle is now 60. And we are placing the object on the angular bisector. Then number of images are, number of images that are formed, okay? Let us see how we start this. We are constructing one circle by taking these two mirrors as radius. Okay. See carefully. So we are constructing one circle and I'm taking those two mirrors as you can take this is mirror one and this is mirror two so called as m m2 m1 okay mirror one mirror two so these are now mirrors Right. Now, condition is that object is placed on the angular bisector. I am taking the object here. <clears throat> Let us now extend these mirrors. Extend these mirrors. So, this is the mirror 2. Just extending back. <clears throat> extend now M1 also this is now mirror 1 right let us see it is angular bisector that means this is now 30 and this also 30 okay so we have one key point that distance of object from mirror, distance of image from mirror should be same. Okay. Distance means we should take here. It is normal to mirror. Okay. It is normal. So if I'm taking here perpendicular at same distance now or behind the mirror means like this. If I'm taking same distance, see what happens here. <clears throat> Suppose this angle is now 30. <clears throat> this angle how much 30. That means if I'm taking a normal, normal like this, this distance and this distance must be same. Distance of image and distance of object must be same. That means same angle. Okay. <clears throat> so here I'm marking as this is a first image by the mirror one i am taking as one comma one means 
image one by the first mirror okay and if you see carefully light rays falling on mirror one after reflection falling on mirror two i am repeating light rays falling on mirror one after reflection falling on mirror two its meaning is that mirror two is now is acting as that means sorry <coughs> Here, after reflection, rays are falling on mirror 2. Its meaning is, image formed by mirror 1 is acting as object for mirror 2. I am repeating, image formed by mirror 1 is acting as object for mirror 2. Because rays after reflection from M1 falling on M2. <laughs> okay. Next, see here. What I am doing is first take image by M2, angle 30, distance of object, distance of image must be same. That means angle must be, angle must be, it must be 30. <coughs> okay. So this is not horizontal. Okay. This is not a horizontal. So this is now image, first image formed by mirror 2. I am writing as 1, 2. Okay. First image by second mirror, angle 30. You can see here, light rays are falling on mirror 2 after reflection falling on mirror 1. That means this image acts as object for mirror 1. That means for this image, once again image is formed by mirror 1. In the same way, for this image, one more image forms. One more image is formed by M2. See carefully. If you want to take image of this one by M2. Now see angle 30, 30, 30. Total is now 90. That means we have to count 90 from here. Okay. Let us see from here 90. So 30, 30, 30. From here 90 we have to count. From here 90 means you can see this total angle is 180. Okay. This total value 180. Already having here 30, 30, 30, 90. We want from here 90. Okay. From here how much? 90. That means See remaining how much we want. 30 already is there. We want 60 more. 60 more. 60 more means let me cross check once. 30. This is 30, 30, 30. Okay, 90 we want from here. Already having here 90. Remaining 90 is left. Okay, remaining 90 is left. If I am taking from here 60, 30 will be left. So this is now 30. See careful, okay? This is 30. So I am taking from here 90. Sorry, from here 90. From here 90 means here remaining angle how much? 120. This is 120. So I have left 30 here. This is image by second mirror, right? Second image by the second mirror. 2 comma 2. Next. Image show of this one by M1. See carefully. 30, 30, 30, 90. Again, we have to leave 30 from M2. This is now 30. Okay. This is now second image by first mirror. And see how long we have to count like this. So we have to count images until they form either on the either in the plane of the mirror or behind the mirror. See carefully. If this is a mirror, if this is a mirror, if a person stands in the plane of the mirror, then he cannot get his image, right? If person stands either in the plane of the mirror or behind the mirror, there is no image. Therefore, 
we count here the images until they form either in the plane of the mirror or behind the mirror. Okay. And you can see this image is now still. This image is still in front of M2. Right. This is M2. Okay. In front of M2. Therefore, this image acts as object for M2. In the same way, this image is in front of mirror one. You can see here, this is mirror one in front of that. Therefore, this again forms, means this image acts as object for M1. Okay. Now see carefully, image of this one by M1. See how much angle is this total angle? This total value 180, 30 is left. The remaining is now 150. So we want 150 from M1. From M1, 150 means I am leaving here 30. I am leaving here 30. 30, 30, sorry, this is 30. I will write one second here. This is 30. So remaining angle is 150, right? So I have taken from here 150. So total is 180, okay? 30 is left, remaining 150. This is the third image by first mirror, okay? Next, in the same way, see, image of this one, by M2. So again, I have to count 150 from here, right? Means I have to leave 30 from here. This is nothing but 30, right? So leaving 30 means image by M2 will be coinciding with this image. Third image by second mirror. Okay. That means see number of images. Number of images are 1, 2, 3, 4. Since these two are coinciding, this is only 1. So number of images are 5. Okay. Like this, we can count. <clears throat> Let's see. Angle given how much? 120, right? Let us see 120. Again, same process. 120. So I'm making here a circle. Now let us make mirrors. And this 120. It is 120. 120 means I should make here This is 120 <laughs> and the given object is now on angular bisector. This is object. <laughs> so this is mirror. Theta is 120. Let us take it as M1, mirror 1. And this is mirror 2. Let us now <clears throat> extend it back. Extending this. Extending this. Right. This is now 60. And this is also 60. Okay. Let us see image by mirror 1. 60 so we want one more 60 right you can see this total angle is now 180 this total value the total value is 180 total value so 60 is left that means image by this one forms in the plane of mirror 2 so first image by first mirror it is in the plane of mirror 2 therefore 
this will not act as object for mirror two because it is in the plane of the mirror. Okay. Now in the same way, image by this one forms in the plane of mirror one. That means first image by second mirror. Right. That means we get here only two images. Okay. Because they are forming on the or in the plane of the mirrors. That's why these images are not acting as objects. Okay. So answer is now two. Let us do one thing. If it is not angular bisector, then what is answer? Let us check once. So we have taken on angular bisector. If it is not angular bisector, let us take 120 once again. It is 120. One twenty. So it is one twenty. Instead of taking on angular bisector, I am taking. Let us take. This is fifty. And this is seventy. Let us check once what is the answer. Extend now these mirrors. Extend these mirrors back. So take it as mirror two. And extend this also. That is mirror one. Now see carefully, because of mirror 2, I have to consider here 50. This total is 120, remaining 60. So we want only 50. Therefore, I am leaving here. I am leaving here 10. Okay. 10 is left. This is a 50. So first image by second mirror. Okay. Next, image of this object by mirror one. This is now 70. We have to take now 70 from here. But if you see, this is already 120. This is only 60. So we should take 10 behind M2. This is now 10. This is now 10. Okay. That means this is the first image formed by mirror one. Okay, that means this image does not act as object for M2. Okay, but this image is now formed in front of M1. Therefore, this will act as object for M1. See, so this angle is now 10. So, remaining how much? 170, right? Remaining 170. So, I have to count from here 170. 170 means See carefully, this is a 10, so remaining 170. So I have to count 170 from here. So I should leave here now 10. Leaving 10 here. Therefore, this remaining will be 170. This is a second image by first mirror. And this is now forming behind M2. Therefore, this image does not act as object. For M2. Okay. So now total number of images 1, 2, 3. So previously we got two images. Now we got three images. Right. So it depends on the location. Earlier we have taken on angular bisector. It is not bisector. So just count like this, we get all answers. Okay. Let us see last one. Now this angle is 100. Again, same process, just check it once. 100. 100.
let us make the circle So now coming to mirrors. Mirror one, mirror two. It is now on the angular bisector. So it is a 50. And this also 50. Extend mirrors back. Extend mirrors back. Right. So this is M1 and this is M2. Okay, now C once 50. So we have to take 50 from here. This is already 100. So we want 50 means leave 10 here. Okay, I am leaving 10 here. This is a 50. So image one by first mirror. Okay, next in the same way, I can take here by leaving 10. By leaving 10, this is now 50. First image by mirror 2. And remember, this image is in front of M2. See carefully, in front of M2. So this acts as object for M2. Next, this also in front of M1. So this image acts as object for M1. Okay. Now, this is a 10. So, this total angle is now 50, 50, 50. Wait, wait. I think I have taken something wrong here. How much we require here? From here, 50 we want. Okay. 50, 50, 50, 150. Remaining is 30, right? I have taken mistake here. It is. This also, right, see once again, we want 50 from here, already 50, 50, 100 plus 50, 150, remaining is now 30, okay, this also 30, next, this is 30, so from here how much, 50, 50, 50, 150, we want 150 from here, 150 from here means, we are taking theta value how much? 100. Okay. 150 from here. Total value 180. So I am leaving here. I am leaving here 30. I am leaving 30 here. Check it once. This for this. This is now acting as object for M2. So it is now 50, 50, 51, 50. So at this total angle is 180. I am leaving 30 here. Remaining is 150, one, right? Leaving 30 means. This is a second image by second mirror, okay? Which is now behind M1. Therefore, this does not act as object for M1, okay? Next. Image of this one by M1. Again, I have to take 150, right? 50, 50, 50, 150. 150 from here means I am leaving 30. I am leaving 30 here, leaving 30, remaining how much? 150. This is second image by mirror one. That means we got now, see, these two images are not coinciding, okay? That means here number of images are 1, 2, 3, 4. We got now four images, right? So like this, we can calculate number of images formed by mirrors, okay?